Hey guys, I'm Aaron and welcome to Aaron Plays Fun Fact. In each episode, we're gonna invite our friends from all over the world to ask Aaron fun facts they really wanna know. Let's take a look at today's Ask Aaron video. Hi, hello Aaron, my name is Josie. Valentine's Day is coming. I'm very excited because this is my first Valentine's Day here in Canada. I would like to know some fun facts about Valentine's Day. Thank you. Thanks, Josie. She recently just moved to Canada and wanted to know how she can celebrate her first Valentine's Day with her husband. Aw, isn't that sweet? Let's help her with some fun facts about Valentine's Day and gift idea. So if you find this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Valentine's Day is celebrated every year. But did you know where Valentine's Day came from? How it became so popular? Was it always about love and good feelings? From its bloody origins to its sweet, chocolatey, modern traditions. These are the fun facts you didn't know about Valentine's Day. Fact number one. Why do we call people Valentine? Valentine's Day may have been named after the priest Valentine of Rome, who refused to follow Claudius II's ban on Christianity. While he was imprisoned, children would pass him notes through the jail window before he was killed on February 14. He wrote one last note to the jailer's daughter with whom he had fallen in love and signed it from your Valentine. Whether or not this was a romantic gesture is up for debate. Nevertheless, the signature caught on and is still used to show affection. Fact number two, why do we give out roses? Back to the Victorian era, people expressed their emotions through the language of flowers. Giving a certain kind of flower conveyed a specific message and red roses are considered the flower of love because the color red stands for strong romantic feelings today nearly 189 million stems of roses are sold in the usa 70 percent of people who buy flowers on this day are men while only 27 percent are women fact number three why do we eat chocolate? Physicians of the 18th century commonly advised their patients to eat chocolate to calm their pain for lost love. Thanks to Richard Cabaret, who produced the first box of chocolates for this holiday in late 18th century. Now, more than 35 million heart-shaped boxes of chocolate are sold each year. Over 1 billion worth of chocolate is purchased in this romantic day in the US. Fact number four, why do we send cards? In the middle of the 18th century, giving out handwritten notes and other signs of affection was a common Valentine's Day custom in England. As printing technology improved, handwritten messages soon give away to ready-made cards. Now, approximately 114 million cards are sent out each Valentine's Day. Fact number five, why Cupid is a symbol of love. Before he was called Cupid, the Greeks called this heavenly figure Eros, the god of love. According to Greek mythology, Cupid had two arrows, one to make people fall in love and one to make people hate each other. During the Renaissance, artists painted Cupid as a naked child. Unfortunately for Cupid, that depiction stuck and went on and became a popular image for Valentine's Day. Now we know some fun facts about Valentine's Day. Let's help Josie with some ideas about how to celebrate Valentine's Day in Canada. First of all, Valentine's Day is not a public holiday. Businesses have normal opening hours. Second of all, Valentine's Day celebrated in Canada, much as it is in the United States or other Western countries. On Valentine's Day, many people give gifts like rose chocolate jewelry to the loved ones or bring them to a fancy restaurant or watch a show in the theater. However, you can always 
hand make some gifts or do the crafts together to celebrate this romantic day. Here are some fun ideas. Valentine's Day in Canada is right in the middle of winter, which typically means cold weather and lots of snow. But that doesn't mean there's nothing to do. In fact, sparkling snow can be just what it takes to create that magically romantic winter wonderland. You may want to sleep under the Yukon Northern Lights or admire them from the northwest territories. You may want to take a helicopter right over Niagara Falls or go winter wine tasting in Niagara on the lake. Maybe you want to check out live theater in the big city of Toronto or go for a graffiti tour in trendy Montreal. Whatever it is, there's always something for everybody in Canada. Well ideas, I'm pretty sure Josie would have a wonderful time this Valentine's Day. But if you're single like me, don't worry, you can celebrate Singles Awareness Day, aka Sad Day. I'm just joking, like all holidays, as long as we spend some quality time with our loved ones, family and friends, we're living the best times of our life. Happy Valentine's Day! If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, ring the notification bell, leave a comment down below of uh, what are your favorite places to visit. Thanks again for watching, and well, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Peace!